Welcome back guys, now I know a lot of you were wondering why haven't I posted in such a long time, I've got your emails, I got your comments guys, the short of it is I hurt my shoulder and I couldn't record, I couldn't stay at my computer, even in bed I had like two positions in which I could stay in that didn't hurt my shoulder, I was in a lot of pain, I had like a week when I didn't sleep almost at all. But now I'm better and hopefully from now on I can make my regular videos again. It's 2023, we all know what ghosting is, have likely had it done to us at some point or ghosted someone else, but what the heck is zombieing? Zombieing? Being zombie. I was zombie. I'm out here being zombie. Can you tell me zombieing, no? Picture the scene, you are sitting in your favorite pub for your birthday, having a great time when suddenly, out of the blue, you get hit with a text from the guy who ghosted you three months ago. Surprise, he's wishing you a happy birthday and wondering how how you're doing. He's not even acknowledging the fact that he ghosted you. He definitely didn't care how you were doing months ago. Now Can you see guys, so they care so much, they invented a new word for it. So if you ghost somebody, you ghost a woman, and then after a few months, you text her again, you come back into her life, it's called zombieing. Now he's just back from the dead and super chill about it. This is essentially zombieing in a nutshell. Girl, you're being ghosted? I'm out here being zombied. It's like ghosting, but he comes back from the dead after a couple months and hits you up. You can be ghosted. And whose fault is that? Whose fault is that you give him attention after he ghosted you for three months? It's not that guy's fault. He's just trying. He's trying. And he's getting away with it. Otherwise, you haven't, you, you wouldn't invent a new word for it. It's shocking, guys. What kinds of guys do you think she's after that she gets zombied? That you can be zombied. Now we're corpsed. It's like an eternal dry spell. Here's oh. a text you could send. So another word, corpsed. Send to somebody who's... I hope this video doesn't get demonetized because of these words. Who's zombieing you? And a zombie is a ghoster who disappeared out of nowhere and comes back after a month, two months, three months, whatever. The first option is you don't have to answer. This person chose to not respond to you ever again, not contact you, not text you, and just move on with Yes, but if you didn't care about him or he, if he contacts you back, then you wouldn't invent a new word for it. You wouldn't because you wouldn't care. People care too much. That's the problem. With their life, so great. You could do the same and have moved on with yours. I was enjoying getting to know you prior to you disappearing, but have since then moved on. I wish you all the best. If you choose to respond, you are not only letting this person know how you felt, you disappeared on me. I have since moved on, which is letting them know where you stand. Take care, all the best. You are closing the door and setting the boundary to them for them to know to leave you the fuck alone. Just because somebody comes back doesn't mean that you need to let them back into your life. They have made their decision to go out, date other people, see what else is out there, explore their options, leave you high and dry. And then when they realize, oh, wait, man, she was actually really hot or she was super cool or hmm, I was comfortable with her. Great. If you leave that door open so he can contact you back, you don't block him. That's letting a guy know that he can try again. He can fool you again. That's how men think. Great, I'm just going to go back. Again, that's their decision. And yours is to not allow this into your life any further. Especially if you text them and they answer back. That's how we think. Oh, she answered back, so she still cares. So I have a second chance. That's, that's how we think. Unfortunately, women don't see that, or I don't know, they don't care. And you can either decide to never answer them again, or to respond with a text to close this down and move on with your life once and for all. I was zombied by a guy once who I really liked a lot and I know that it's be was it's because of his anxiety. Like we mm. were seeing each other for a mm -hmm. while mm -hmm. and then he just got weird and he'd always be wanting to come over. I'll, I'll, I'll come over and then he'd get all like nervous and weird. Just No, men don't get anxious when you tell them to come over. They don't. They get horny. That's all. I don't know, it was like he wanted to have a relationship, but then he was nervous about having a relationship because it was mm. the first time after a long-term relationship in which he had a child. Yes, that's, that's the, old, the oldest trick in the book. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, of course. So it was all hard, hard. And then he would pop up again four months later. 
or he'd text me from another country where he was visiting his parents and just send me the cute, a cute message about some a, an in joke we had. Yeah. Yes, because he was talking to other women, and when that failed, he leaned back on you. He contacted you again. Yeah. I'd be like, why, why, why? What are you doing? Or, or he was just feeling lonely. Well, he's kind of explained it though, hasn't he? Like he's got all this stuff that he's trying to work through and just to deal with it is too much. So he's, you know, but he's still interested enough to come back. On text? Yeah. It's like, I've got friends, mate. Yeah. I don't need another friend, you know? And I certainly don't need another friend with anxiety. (laughs) (laughs) Can I tell you that? I waited 24 hours for a guy's reply, (laughs) and you know what that means. I did my hair and I put on a cute dress, and now I'm going on a date with another guy because you snooze, you lose. I'm not saying that I'm better at Halloween than you. I'm just saying that I've been ghosted multiple times. Um, I'll do the number seven. Number eleven. Seven. Number eleven. Seven. <laughs> of course, hot girl summer. It's okay. Number seven. Okay, number eleven. Yeah, she's trying to have a hot girl summer, but she keeps having feelings for the guy and getting in bad relationships and getting ghosted. Why haven't they texted me back? Am I really being ghosted right now? If they want to ghost, that's on them, not me. I wonder what I did wrong. Ghosting is just them being emotionally immature. Of course. Old, I suppose. Of Are course. you seriously ghosting me right now? Hey, just wondering if you're still feeling this. If not, that's cool, but I wanted to be clear before moving on. If you are gay- So let me get this straight. Men shouldn't be emotional. They should be stoic. But they should also explain to a woman why they don't want to talk to them anymore. No, that's, sh- that's, that's thinking with your emotions, not with your logic. Logic says... If she's not the right person for you, just block her. It's simple. I know a lot of you guys are telling me that I'm a coward and this and that for not letting a woman know. Yes, for you, it's that way. Because you had three women, four women, your whole life that you've talked to. I've had over a thousand, over, I I don't know even, I don't even know the number. So for me to explain to every one of them why I don't like them, why I saw the red flags, and why uh, I don't want to talk to them anymore, it's, it's stupid. It's stupid. Okay, for you guys, yeah, yeah you've, you've talked to a girl this year and with the girl, another girl next year. Yeah, I get it. But it's not the same for everybody. It's not. And for me to waste time on each woman that I've talked to and explain why, I don't want to talk to them anymore. It's stupid. It's just stupid. It's a waste of a waste of my time, and I don't have time like that. I don't. Girl, and you are being ghosted right now. Then you stop and you listen to me. Do not, and I mean, do not, do not text him. Don't do it. Don't text him. I promise you, if you don't text him, okay, you'll feel better. The first reason's obvious. You're worth more than that, girl. You are worth more than that. Of course, of course, that's true. You go, queen. But the biggest reason that we want to text them when they're not texting us is because we want them, okay? Now, you end up texting them because you have it in your brain that they are just not going to text you. They are. But only if you don't text them. No, that's not true. No, I've done that hundreds of times. And I've got ghosted hundreds of times. And I didn't care. I didn't care at all. Okay, are you with me so far? Girls, I've already tried this out for you with two different guys. And what I did is when they started ghosting me, I just didn't text them. And I was like, keep your cool. I even had to ring Susan, my mother, and be like, mom, I really want to text him. And she's like, don't be cool, Lauren. The rewards are so worth it. So I got ghosted before a date and he texted me three times. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, ah! We do when somebody ghosts us. Um, we don't do anything, okay? Listen to me. Listen. People will ghost you in life. This is normal. I got ghosted. A lot of pe- uh, people get ghosted. Whatever. This is normal. No, this is not normal. What I'm talking about, it's not normal. Most men talk to a very few 
number of women in their lifetime. So of course, especially for older guys, this sounds like crazy. You should have the balls to text them somebody and say, I don't like you. Yeah, that's true, because you only talked to a small number of women. But from my perspective, this is totally different. And today, how dating is for younger people in 2023, because I'm trying to teach young men how to deal with this, this is just a numbers game. Women talk to 10 guys a day. So ghosting for them, for most of them, doesn't even affect them. The ones that get affected by ghosted uh, by being ghosted is because they've been ghosted by Chad and she wants Chad because when she gets rejected, she wants him even more. That's how it works because every time, every time I acted like shit with a woman, she wanted me even more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's just reality. You don't have to be like me. I'm not advertising you to be like me. I'm not advertising anybody to, uh, to go somebody that they've been with in months or, uh, or years. No, that's, that's trash. I'm just talking about I've talked to you two times, three times, two days, three days a week. I saw red flags and I'm now I'm ghosting you. That's the dating market in 2023. Now I know most of, of my audience is older. I get it. For you guys, it, it just sounds insane. But I want to teach the young men how to deal with this. Because most young men that haven't talked to a lot of women will see this and they will feel so, I don't know, so rejected. And I don't want them to feel like that. Because all women do this nowadays. Especially younger women. It's something, it's, it's cultural, it's normal, especially in the West. So I don't want any young guy here that has been ghosted to remember every day how he's been rejected. My guy, just get over it. This is how it is in dating in 2023. You have to, you have to realize this. It's just a numbers game. Okay, you got rejected, you got ghosted. What are you waiting for? Talk to another woman. Get rejected again and then talk to another woman and then get rejected again. I've been rejected over a hundred times. I don't care. That girl that rejected you, she wouldn't have worked. Because that's why she rejected you. That's why she, why she ghosted you. Because she didn't care about you. So why are you thinking about her? It's, it's not logical. Stop thinking with your emotions and think with your head. You're maybe not his match. Or her match uh they didn't feel the vibe anymore they have somebody else's interest uh there's uh, someone else in the picture so yeah. many reasons so many things maybe they don't, they don't even want a relationship so you yeah. have to go into things thinking that thinking like hey listen this might not work out but that's okay because there's so many other people so many other chances that do want me and that i am good enough for and you know what if i don't even want someone that's fine too because i enjoy my own company as well i've been ghosted once in my life i asked hey only once <laughs> only once and she made a video about ghosting <laughs> like i tried to send him and i asked like hey why did you ghost me don't do it because you know what i didn't get any answers nothing you know what i did afterwards i i literally changed my phone number and sometimes when i lay in bed i think about that and i think wow wow liz that was an embarrassing moment in your yeah that's what i don't want young people to do i don't want a young guy sitting in bed and thinking why what he, did he do wrong why did he get ghosted no my guy just move on in your life he hasn't responded it's been 48 hours like it's fine you know what i mean i'm i'm literally fine like it's not a big deal i don't, I don't even know why I'm of course it up. like it's not like I've you can see it in, who knows in your, in hours, your eyes 47 whatever but it's like it's just the fact that i put my entire dignity and pride on the line no response that means that like that was it you can't do more than one shot like you shoot your shot that's your only shot you can't then shoot another shot your shot's over you're done and i'm just picturing him opening it reading the dm and being like <laughs> ma'am most guys that ghost you don't care about your dms i didn't care 
I don't care what you have to say. I, re I really don't because you're not the person for me. So why would I care what you have to say? It's like, like, my, like my messages I get on YouTube, like my hate messages. If I cared for every hate message I get on YouTube, I would have gone crazy. I really don't care about any messages. You can say whatever you want. I really don't care. That's, that's me. I don't know why people are so emotional. You shouldn't care. Why would you care about the person that you ghosted? You ghosted them because you don't care. Let's talk about being left on delivered. Sending a text back to someone takes about 30 seconds max. Yes, but if you don't care, those 30 seconds can be spent somewhere else. And if someone isn't capable of basic communication, then what does that say about their emotional intelligence? And I oh, but what does that say about you? Because you're making a video because you got ghosted. What does that say about you? It says that you're too emotional and anybody that would get in a relationship with you would have a lot of headaches. That's just my opinion. A woman that is more stable emotionally wouldn't care, wouldn't make a TikTok video about it. I don't care what your attachment style is. Being ignored is going to make you feel anxious. But you are not the problem here. If he is ignoring you, he doesn't respect you. And if you don't respect people, what it really comes down to is you don't respect yourself. Of course, don't get of mad, course. Don't get even. Don't do anything. He will probably come back because they always do. And when he of does, course. you are not going to play the game that he did. You are going No, you'll just make another video saying how you were zombied because... He didn't talk with you a few months and then he texts you out of the blue and you've got zombie, then you will make another video and I will react to it. It's so simple. I'm going to send a thoughtful response. That a bare minimum requirement to be in your life is to know how to communicate. And since he is not capable of that, then he is not worthy of your presence. If you have been ghosted by a boy, especially one that you really like, there's literally nothing to worry about because in my experience, 100 out of 100 times, they always, always come back. Okay, let's say you are right, ma'am. Let's say they always come back. Then why are you still single? Why are you still making videos on TikTok about ghosting? Why? I don't get it. If you do not reach out to them. Yes, and they come back again, and they get what they want from you, and then they ghost you again. That's why you're still single, ma'am. I don't get how people don't get this. It's so simple. It might be in a week. It might be in a month. It might be in six months. It might be in two years. But always, without fail, they come back. So don't worry. Go live your life. He'll be back. I promise. So I'm sitting in the Target parking lot because it's storming outside and I'm scared to drive in the rain. And I had an epiphany. I'm like wondering why I'm not in a relationship, you know, why they're all failing. Um, and then I remember seeing this TikTok and it was like this guy is like praying that other, other people see his future wife and don't want her because he wants her all himself, you know? Of course, a lot of chant. So a lot of chads will just see her, see her wife for one night and then want nothing to do with her and he's praying <laughs> that he will find her so, she, so he can marry her. I, I don't know how... I don't know, guys. This, this just sounds crazy to me, guys. So now I'm like, this makes complete sense. Of course. I'm not to blame. I'm not the common denominator in all my relationships that failed. No, I'm just lucky because now my future husband will find me. It's so simple. It's so Duh! I literally keep getting ghosted because whoever I'm going to marry in the future is like, don't let... He's like a beta, a very beta guy that will take anything he can get and he has no standards and he doesn't care as long as he has some kind of emotional connection to you.
because he's very emotionally intelligent. Let anyone get in the way. I want her all to myself. So, like, I'm ready. I'm right here. Come on. I'm hearing you. You can see from this video, it's nothing wrong with her. It's not her fault. Come on. Anyways, it's not anyone. Text him. Honestly, just do it. If someone has ghosted you and you're sitting there right now and thinking, maybe I should reach out again, you know what? Just do it because you have nothing left to lose. Spam them. Tell them how you feel. If Spam them, of course. That's how you make them reject you even more. Block you. If they read it, great. If they don't, it's their problem. At this point, it's not about them anymore. It's about you. And if you feel that your business is unfinished and then you need to voice how they made you feel, then that is your right. And you're not crazy because that is something that you just should never do to a person. Truth hurts, yes, but have the boss to communicate. So text them, tell them how they made you feel. If they don't react, fine, archive them. Don't even bother if they text you back, but voice your feelings. What did I tell you guys? It's all about their feelings and how you made them feel. And they have to tell you how you made them feel and how you made them feel when you ghosted them. And they have to communicate that with you. If not, it's like an unresolved business and it, it troubles them and it makes them think every day about you. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.